Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have so many things to tell you about. So what I tried to do is pick out the most, I don't know, exciting things and I tried to wear a lot of things and we may even, you know, change some things up as we go along. And then as usual, I tried to pick a few things that I think you should go get this weekend. Things that I feel very confident about. So first of all, let me do things a little bit backwards here. Jenny Bird has come out with some new jewels that she sent me. And of course I will leave all of the links below. Her jewelry is so pretty. I love that, I've told you this before, Dean, Jenny, Miranda Fry, Sheila Fajal, they're all, I love them all, but they're all so different. Jenny's is a heavier, edgier look. And I love that. So they sent me this bangle, a big bangle. I love bangles for the summertime. Bangles and watches and stuff like that are just more fun in the summer. And then these earrings, which I think are pretty fabulous. It's, I think it's called the Kush Cushion or Kush Collection, along with this necklace, which I love because I, don't, I hope that you can see all along the necklace. Here, let me lift it. See how it's got like the little, it's like a little polished piece or a little flattened polished piece. So it looks so pretty on your neck. It's dainty, but it kind of sparkles. This pinky ring and then this ring my parents got for me last weekend. At, they discovered a new pawn shop on the other side of town. And this, you can tell it's an antique, but look at the black enamel in there with the diamonds and you guys know i love a ring that is shaped like that so i love the pinky ring along with this ring going back to the hear me roar ring i love jenny's designs then i ordered this brush set you guys have been so good at giving me new people to watch and one of you told me about taylor Wynn. It's kind of like I've seen her around, but I had never really watched her. So I caught up on a lot of her latest videos and she was talking about her brush collection with Sigma. And I do have kind of like a little special place in my heart for Sigma because I feel like they were the first ones to come out on YouTube and really promote their products through YouTube. The Sigma times Taylor Wynn, it's a dense powder brush which I thought would be so good for mineral powder. That is what I was thinking. Or a kind of like a, um, what am I trying to say? I keep wanting to say baked, but I mean cream bronzer or cream blush, just perfect. And then this concealer brush, look how fat that concealer brush is. It's just, I think that's going to be amazing. And then this is what, when she used this brush, that was it. That's when I ordered it. This is the Smooth Under Eye Brush. And look at the shape of it. So it's shaped so you can dip it in your powder and just go right under the eye like that. You guys, this week, you know I spend quite a lot of time alone, which I <laughs> happen to like. I mean, I'll go stop by to see my mom. Sometimes Brooke will go with me, but I'm usually, I spend a lot of time alone. And I'm always, you know, just thinking about why, and I encourage you to do this too. Like if you don't like your hair, your makeup, your body, anything, try to really, instead of just getting lost in that feeling, try to really examine what is it that I don't like. Even if you're feeling negative or feeling down, Try to think about it. Try to, what is it exactly that's bothering me? What is it exactly that I don't like? And sometimes with makeup especially, it will take a little bit. It takes, you know, maybe the next day or the next day when you do something different to understand what you didn't like the day before. And I've really come to realize that I really like, <laughs> this is a long way to get to this, I really do like the powder under my eyes better than even a concealer that is matte and sets on its own. I really like the look of a good powder underneath my eyes and this is why. The powder keeps you, even if you have on a glowy foundation, 
The powder is what smooths everything out and it really hides that divot because I don't really have like a bunch of darkness or um, I don't need to really color correct and that'll go into something else too later. You can tell I've been thinking too much. But what bothers me is in, it's all the shadows and all of the, just like with my house, I like to just be able to look across the room and nothing really interrupt my eye. I like it to just be plain. That's why I don't like a lot of things on the countertops or a lot of things on the table. I just want to kind of sweep the room and it just all look calm and kind of plain, I guess. And that's kind of how I want my face to look. So I've noticed if I don't use the powder under my eyes, I don't get that look. So that is where I'll go with that. And that is a perfect segue into my Laura Mercier translucent powder. They sent me this in PR. Um, I thought it was maybe just for PR, but I saw it in Sephora. And it's just so pretty. I mean, this jar of powder is just so pretty. Do you see like the little faces that are drawn on it? And then that little thing on the top. And it's just, to me, it's still my go-to powder. I haven't used it yet. I've got one in my drawer downstairs that I use under my eyes. And I did use something different today that I'll show you, but I just love it. So I think if you love Laura Mercier powder, I think you would enjoy this little powder set here. Okay, so hair products, I'm just gonna throw these in there. This is something, a repurchase. It is the Wow Dream Coat for curly hair. I realize I don't really have curly hair, but you guys have seen my hair when I let it dry natural. This is actually, I'll show you the products I used last night, but this is just like my simple blowout, not sectioning off or anything, but me just taking a round brush and drying my hair. And it's very like hot and humid here today. When I took Will to school, it was raining and 70 degrees at 7.15, so that tells you right there. But I was thinking, you know, getting excited for summer and everything and thinking, oh yay, I'll be able to let my hair dry natural. I was thinking, what did I use back then that I liked so much? Because when I look back at videos, especially like in my old house and I look back at pictures where I can tell I let my hair dry natural, I was thinking, what did I use that I liked so much? And when I saw this, I remembered. It's this in combination with the Kendra blow dry mist. And even if you're not blow drying your hair, it does help your hair dry faster. And then this just helped my curls be more, not as frizzy, I guess that would, cause it's not really a curl. It's just helped my hair be not as frizzy. So if you haven't tried this, I think it's worth a shot. And I think if you want to let your hair dry natural, I think that is like the best thing I've ever done for my hair is go periods of time, even if it, even if I can just do it in the summer, letting my hair dry natural. And it is so easy. I get so spoiled to that. Then when I have to start drying and fixing my hair, I don't like it. One of my subscribers and friends on Instagram sent me a picture of some new Orbe hair products. And she said she really liked them. So yesterday when I was out, I thought about a salon that I have gone to in the past to pick up Orbe. They sell R & Co. They sell, um, they used to sell Kerastase, but I don't think they do anymore. So I stopped and picked up two, ah, sorry, of their favorite or their best-selling products. And what it is, it's, I thought it was just new packaging and a new presentation for R & Co, but it's not. It's R & Co Blue, and they said that it, they wanted to kind of be up there with the Orbe, you know, really nice products. So as you can imagine, when I got up to the counter and paid for these, I was pretty shocked. They were expensive. I can't remember how much they were right now, but she did give me a lot, probably six packets of shampoo and conditioner, different ones from Orbe. So that was nice. But I don't want you to like order these yet until I make up my mind if they're worth it. The thing that they really liked the most was this, which is the Surreal Styling Serum. And you put this, both of these you put in towel dried hair. 
but this is a one-of-a-kind holding serum that delivers flexible control, touchable finish, and softness body and gloss to all hair. A uh, style you can dream up, air dry, blow dry, okay to slick your hair back, seals the cuticle for added smoothness and shine, bounce back memory, and longevity to your look. I don't know if I would have gotten it had it not said air dry, because I was thinking, well, maybe this will also be something good for air dry hair. And he did say that this does help your hair dry faster. So that is something that I got to try. And then this is a Smooth and Seal Blow Dry Mist. What I did like about this, I have to admit, and I'll show you that package too, is it's a, like it's one of those things that you use like It's a 10 or My Magic Mist or something like that, but it's a aerosol. Oh, I get it in my hair. <laughs> and, oh my goodness. They know that if they get you with the scent, this smells like sexy man. Sexy man cologne, not even aftershave, but sexy man cologne is what this smells like. It smells so good. It does not smell like Orbe. It doesn't smell sweet. It smells like sexy man cologne, I'm telling you. And then this comes in this type of package and you just flip it up like that. This doesn't smell as good as that. This is more fresh. So I will let you know. So far, I think I was more impressed with this, but we shall see. This is something that I haven't tried, almost. I kind of have tried it. I was in the line or waiting in line at Sephora and this was on an end cap and I just saw it and I don't know what made me just attracted to it. I like Too Faced stuff anyway, but that is kind of attractive. It's Too Faced. It is the Plump and Prime Luxury Face Plumping Primer and Serum. And so without even thinking, I just put a pump on my hand like that. And I thought to myself, hmm, that kind of reminds me of the Double Tensor. So I just kind of spread it out on my hand like this. And then it was probably my turn to check out and I didn't think about it again. I left there and I was headed to the mall. And you know, I was driving and everything and I just happened to look down at my hand and it just looked so pretty. The skin just looked so plump, not plump, because my hands are so thin, but it looked, I don't know, full of life and kind of luminous. And I thought, gosh, what did I put on my hand? And I thought back and I was like, oh yeah, and I thought to myself, I bet this will rub right off. And it didn't. I like rubbed on it hard and it did not rub off. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna get that. I did not wear this today because I am trying out a new foundation for you today and I wanted to put it on with no primer. So I didn't use this, but I am so pumped up about this, plumped up about this. <laughs> and I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, it does have a light, kind of a floral fragrance too. Just wanted to let you know that. Okay, so let's get right into the star of the show here. And that is the new reformulated Makeup Forever HD Foundation. If you have been here with me, you know that I used to love the HD Foundation. I remember getting so many compliments on my skin and people asking me what foundation I wore. So I was so excited when I saw that they were coming out with a new one, and I went to Sephora yesterday, right when they put it out, and I had the nicest girl help me. I had already done a little bit of, you know, research to find out my, you know, where to start, where I thought my color would be. I knew I wanted to get a, like a warm tone or a golden tone and I wanted to get a neutral because I like having options. To me, they're just, and I'll go into that either later in this video or another day, it's just two different looks. And so I had written down 2Y20 Warm Nude or 2N22, which is for light medium skin. And then for medium skin, which that's something I think that stumps me sometimes, you know, it's like, and I think it depends on one, the line of foundation, but two, how many shades do they have? Okay, so two N34 is honey for medium to tan skin tones with neutral undertones. 
say that. I mean, see, that's how far it went. I went from light medium to medium to tan. And then the 2Y20 is warm nude for light to medium skin tones with yellow undertones. So, I mean, that just seems like such a different, two different descriptions, doesn't it? So today, what I did, and then I'll go ahead and tell you too, they did not have this out, but she told me that they had it, so I bought it because I really like Makeup Forever brushes. Their Duo Fiber brushes are my favorite, even above the MAC 187. So I bought this, and I had all intentions of using it today, and I will, and it's you can see it's a really cool brush. I think I'm going to love it. But I was thinking, okay, I wanted to be able to show you guys this today because I know everybody's going to be talking about it. And I wanted to do it with no primer, so we knew that wasn't going to affect it. And I didn't want to use any new methods or anything. So I took two of my Eco Tools sponges. I applied the yellow shade 2Y20 to the right side of my face, right down the middle, forehead and everything. And then I tried the neutral shade on the left side of my face. It, it's gonna be different for you, but my left and my right. So this is what I have on. Can you tell the difference? So this is the more golden yellow shade, and then this is the more neutral shade. There is not that much difference. So I decided to use a few more things that I have gotten. This is actually a repurchase, but I purchased it this time with a different, you know, idea in mind. This is the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder, and I have had this before, but I had it in a dark shade to kind of bronze with, and I didn't really like it. It wasn't enough for me, but I've seen so many people using this, and they love it to set their foundation without having a powdery look. So I purchased this from Sephora, I ordered it, and it is the two neutral. And this is what I have on over both sides of the foundation. Should not really change. I didn't see a lot of difference with this. It's just I didn't want to, I don't know, I thought about using my mineral powder that I'm loving, but I didn't want to change it too much, like the tone. So I felt like that would be something good to set it with. And then the Concealer that I used is something that I think you should go out and get this weekend. I think it is so good, so good. And that is the NYX or NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. The shade I had, and this is what I was talking about in my last video, I wore the shade light in my carnivore video and it was way too light. And there was just like no fixing it. It was just done, so I just had to deal with it but I went and got the shade beige. Now this is actually golden. Okay, so I did get golden for when I have a darker foundation on, but this is what I wore today and it's beige. And let me tell you, okay, first of all, look at my hand with that primer on. Okay, this is my hand with no primer. I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference with these lights, but this one just looks so much prettier and it actually gives it a, it's a little bit tacky, a little bit tacky, but not sticky. It's just, I think it's gonna be a good primer. Let me put this on there for you. I'm gonna put just a dot because a little goes a long, long way. And it is just beautiful. It actually spread even further over that primer, but isn't it a good color? I don't know when I got into or got it in my head that I needed such a light concealer. I don't know, you know, if I was into that at one time, but a lot of my concealers I have purchased along with the foundations have been too light. A lot of that is because I've been doing the Bali Body Tan. I love it. It is the prettiest color tanner I have ever used. And then I've also been using this, like when I make my videos, the Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting. I looked to make sure you could still get it because I was so, I just was convinced they quit making it. But if you've been here, you know how much I love this body bronzer. It's just gorgeous. So I've got it on today, like on my 
arms and everything because I, I took a shower last night and I scrubbed like crazy to get, you know, any tan off and I didn't apply any more. So today I needed a little bit of just zhuzhing up. Back to this foundation. New and improved formula. This new version of the iconic Ultra HD foundation is powered by technology that enhances performance, undetectability for skin that looks like skin under any light, instantly blurs, covers imperfections for 24 hours, natural finish, waterproof and sweat proof. So if we end up loving this, it's going to be so good for the summertime. So last night before I got in the shower, I took off my makeup and I tried both colors just you know i pumped them on my hands to look at them and then i applied one to one side and one to the other and oh it's just such here let me let me show you swatches i haven't done that the bottle is very pretty i love tone on tone i love the nude and it is recyclable so a pump and i'm gonna do it over here since i just put that concealer so this is the two Golden 20. This is the neutral. So the neutral on the bottom and the more golden on the top. Look how it doesn't make that big of a difference on my skin. That is a good sign because that means that it kind of just went right into my skin. It covered my imperfections but it didn't leave a mask. It didn't leave a layer of foundation. I will say when you swatch it and you put it on, it's one of those foundations, unlike the NARS, I haven't really liked, I haven't loved any of the new foundations I've tried except for that Catrice. And I do like the Charlotte Tilbury, but that's for a different look. But this one, it's love at first sight. It's love at first use when you feel it. It's smooth and silky. And when you are putting it on, you're like, you know, some foundations just instantly make you feel good. And just, it's almost like they're not a foundation. It's almost like just an eraser and or a filter. Like you're just taking away all the redness and the imperfections in your skin, but you're not really putting something crazy on. You're not having to like blend it crazy in your hairline or crazy down your neck. That is what it's like. I think it's going to be a big hit. What I want to do today is go get a little bit of a darker tone in both and see if I like them even more because I think that I don't know. I think I'd rather error a little bit darker and then, I don't know, I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's a little bit of a formal look. To me, when I wear a foundation that is a little bit light, it's more of that makeup-y formal look. And I, well, another thing I wanna do is I did not do any of the setting spray. Goodness, is there any in here? But I wanted to do that with you. So here we go. I love this stuff, I love it. Okay, so let's, typically I would stand in front of my heater. I need to bring a blow dryer up here just for this reason. Okay, can you notice though, as soon as I did that spray, how you can see under my eyes now, you can see the divot under my eyes a little bit more and the darkness. I think that was such a good little thing there. So I don't know if I will spray it or not because my skin is normal to oily. Um, it's not really oily. I don't have an issue, but when I, I live in a humid place and as the day goes on, it will get a little bit oily and just get glowy. And I think I would rather just wear it and wait for that than to spray it. So all in all, two thumbs up. I think it's worth a try. The bad thing is finding your right shade. I, if I had to say error on the darker, that's what I would say. Error on darker than you think. And just two thumbs up. Oh my gosh, you guys, this video is going to be so long. Okay, let's go for the next thing that I used today, which is the Haley's Beauty. Had never heard of it. I believe it is a woman's, I believe she might've been a chemist that created this and it's vegan, all natural. 
and I've heard so many people brag on the Haley's powder and the sponge. The sponge is magnificent. It is so soft and I love it. So definitely love the sponge. And the powder to me is very, very similar to the Laura Mercier. It's a kind of a yellowy, thicker, brightening powder. I don't know if I would use this to set all over, but it did great under my eyes. Very similar to the Laura Mercier. I would love to try the concealer. I hear that that's good. So if you've tried this line and you love something, let us know down below what you like in this line because I like finding new things. Hey you guys, I probably would not even get into this because I feel like I don't have enough time, but I'm wearing these. So I feel like I want to show you, but I know a lot of you were curious about the Lisa Eldridge Foundation. What is it called? The Seamless Skin Foundation. And I remember when this came out, you know, wanting to try it, but it's so hard when you cannot go test it out and you're trying to guess your color. So I ordered these and I got number 16 which I believe is more of a, yes, it's more of a warm tone. And the first day I wore these, I'll put a picture in here. And what I did is I pumped them both out and I ended up mixing them together. Then this is number 11. And I was listening to her this morning in the car and this is the color that she wears. So this is more of a neutral, I believe. Yes, okay, so that's number 11 and then that's number 16. You can see, I mean, there's quite a difference there in the different, you know, colors. I really like this foundation. This is one of those foundations that it's just beautiful. It wears beautiful. It's not quite as much coverage, I don't think, as the Makeup Forever. But yesterday I used it and I just used this shade, which I think is my shade, number 16 and I loved it. I did not do powder under my eyes. It was kind of like a casual day, and I really, really loved that. So I need to, you know, play around with these more, but right off the bat, I do love it. It's silky, it has good coverage. I haven't even tried to like put on a second layer to build it up or anything like that. So this is in the works too for a get ready with me. We will use these. And then when I was on the website, I decided to go ahead and get a couple of little things because I had never really tried anything. So I got Kitten Mischief lipstick. Really good. I know I'm behind the times on this, so you've probably seen these. But this is a really good, I would say, my lips but better. Good, you know, like if you were getting someone a gift, you could get that color and I think everyone would love it. This is the Velvet Petal. This is what I have on today, and it was a little bit more color than I was thinking, but certainly not obnoxious. A really pretty color, and even though it's velvet, it's very smooth. I did not, I put a gloss on that I'm gonna show you, but I didn't need to. Really pretty. And then this is a gloss. This is gorgeous, and it has a lot of color. So if you're just a good old gloss girl, you would like this. This is Charm and it has a lot of body to it. It kind of reminds me of the Lawless, but I mean, look how much color that has. Typically, when you get a gloss like this, I mean, you know how you feel like there's no way I can wear this on its own. You could wear this on its own. And so, then this is something I picked up yesterday. I was, you know, we were trying all the different Makeup Forever foundations, and I just looked over and I saw the lip liners. And I've kind of enjoyed rediscovering things that I loved but got kicked to the curb when everything new came in. And this is one of them. It's the Lip Liner in 2C. And I remember that I liked this with glosses and different things because it's a pink that is just a fleshy pink that really, if I had to compare it to something, it would be Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. But to me, it's a little deeper and has more pigment and it looks better on my lips. And it's just a good one. So if you are in the market 
for a pink lip liner, I really think you would enjoy this. And that is the lip combo I have on today. I have on that lip liner, I have on that lipstick with a little bit of the gloss in the middle. And I thought what I would do is, let's do that first color that I put on, because it's really pretty. This is the one I think most of you would love. And it's glossy, has plenty of color. Oh, that's so pretty. That feels good. If I got another one, I don't know. I like both formulas, but I would want some lighter color. So I have to look on her website and see if she does have some. Okay, and then the last thing, and see this lip liner? It's a good one. It's like Tara Babies. She was showing these in her last, I think, Saturday haul, and I was just mesmerized by the case. I think I had already even seen these on Beautylish. And then when she loved them and she said that her mom loved them, I thought, okay, I want to try one. Well, I ended up ordering two. They're made in Japan. They're just gorgeous. I will definitely use these. This one is uh, Tender Poppy, number two. But just look at how gorgeous that is. And in the center is like a cream. Peony Harmony. This is the one that I used today. So you can see it has more of the pinky tones. And I started off with like this color in my crease and then I deepened it and then I did a little bit of that. I used every color. So, but you can see it's a very, it's not real shimmery. It does not have a lot of pigment, but enough to give you like a glowy lid. So if you're someone who doesn't like a real strong eyeshadow look, I think you would love these. And I think it's perfect for summer. Looking forward to using these more. And I actually got a few, I got a lipstick from that line too, but I feel like we need to call it quits <laughs> right here so that I will have time to edit and get this up by this afternoon. Okay, close. Remember I told you I had ordered some pants from Abercrombie. I'll be right back. Okay, so today I have on just a nude bodysuit from Zara. And I feel like I have searched the world over looking for all the best bodysuits. And I always come back to either the Amazon bodysuits or the Zara. I get a medium. I have tried the small and my torso. That's the problem that I come across with bodysuits sometimes is my torso is long. So then it pulls these sides down and it just shows too much side boob. So if you're shaped like me and you usually wear a small in things, go to a medium and you will like it better. So this is one that I had. And then these are the waffle knit pants that I was telling you about. Wide leg and these are cropped. So if you don't like cropped, this is gonna be a miss for you. But in the summer, I love things like this. And so soft. And this color, I just think is really cool. It's kind of like a mauve taupey type color. I'm so glad I ordered this color. I remember, you know, thinking I might not order it. And then I got these same ones in the gray same ones in this neutral, kind of like a sandy tone. And then I did get one pair in like a, it's kind of like a wide little, I don't know, how, how do I say this? Like not really a stripe, but you can, ribbed, a wide ribbed pair of the black in the wide leg. And these are full length. So, so perfect for summer and perfect for now. What I'll probably do today since it's raining is I'm wearing my Javianas, the thicker ones, and I will probably put on one of my older moto jackets and that will be it. And then I did order, these are all colors I've had before, but these are my favorites. I do like the green. They had a green at one time that I got but these are the Zara bodysuits that are available now. So I got that purpley tone that I like, of course, a black and a white. The white looks so good with sweatpants too, like just your 
casual sweatpants. The white always looks good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I showed you a couple of things you could pick up this weekend. I really love that tanner. I think you would love that. I've got a really good spring, yeah, I would say spring Walmart fashion haul coming up soon. So see you then. Bye-bye.